Hey there, folks. It's Pliskin, the 51 millimeter. I'm just uh, doing a little update, channel update, some stuff I'm doing, uh, stuff that's going on. So, as you can see, we didn't get destroyed by an F5 tornado. <laughs> I knew we weren't going to, I was just joking. If you guys watched the previous video all the way through, I kind of was joking, uh, going about shooting uh, the tornado that was on its way with my M1A. It'd be out there, pow, 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 shooting at it. It never came to that, and I knew it wasn't going to, but um, anyway, yeah, the storm didn't get any worse than what it did. It just rained a lot and thundered and lightened a lot. Uh, I do have another uh, video of that, and I might roll into this. Okay. This is crazy. Oh my god. Sounds like a battle. Sounds like a war zone. I'm not going to be able to sleep tonight if it keeps us up. Yeah, you will. Yeah, it basically turned into a big lightning storm. But, uh, yeah, everything's fine. It didn't get any worse. Uh, right now, what we're doing, me and my dad, we are in the process of reloading all my 308 ammo. I'm going to show you all that here. See these four loading blocks right here, that is all 308 ammunition. And they have their respective boxes over top of them. Like those are all Power Shock. Those are all Federal. Those are all American Eagle. Those all are underneath that box are Fusion MSR and then got Remington and got some more right there too. Like City and whatnot. So I've done went ahead and smoothed out the primer pocket for all of them we just gotta add primers powder and bullets next so that's taking up a lot of our time but when it's all said and done we'll uh, I'll have some accuracy loads because we're making all these these are all name brand. We're making all of these 168 grain AMAX bullets. And then all these down here. All the Perfecta and ZQI. We're making those uh, 150 grain planker loads. In total, I have 250 rounds of ammunition altogether. I know I've shot the a lot of ammo to that M1A. Um, me and my dad are also waiting for the guy that works at a machine shop up north in another town to call back to us and confirm whether or not he's got our AR-500 uh, rifle target in yet. We went there about a week ago, miss. About two weeks ago, a week ago, two weeks ago, hell, I can't remember, I've been so busy, but um, we have uh, we went up there and ordered a, I think, a 16-inch plate of AR-500 steel, circular, circular, and he didn't have no AR steel at the time, so he's got to make us, make us one, and we're just waiting on him to get back to us about it, so there's that, and we're going to be long range shooting that thinking like 500 yards some crazy stuff good place to try out my M1A's long range distance shooting I'm also going to be doing a lot more of those videos uh, like when I was at the cabin when we stayed, out, stayed the night out there I'm going to be setting uh, pop cans and water bottles and you name it up at longer distances through shrubs and stuff and test my uh, accuracy out see if I can hit them through brush and stuff trying to like a little trying to hit something through like a little sight hole through the woods do some long range shooting 
something out of the ordinary. And I'm not just going to do it with my M1A, I'm going to do it with all my rifles. I'm trying to, uh, just, just for uh, video's sake, because long range shooting is very fun. I'm also going to try to shoot an egg at 300 yards here in a few weeks. That's going to be real fun. That's going to be real hard to, to try and do. But yeah, that's what we got going on. I'm also thinking about going ahead and doing a review on the Redfield rifle scopes that we've got since I've used them for years. Two of which I've used for years, and the one on my M1A I've only used like oh for a couple months. I might also go ahead and do the review on the Fulton Armory uh, scope mount since I've already had it for basically a whole year. And go ahead and do the review on that. Probably going to do a review on some other stuff. Might also make a 223 versus 308 video. I don't know if I've said that already. I'm working that around, trying to get that uh, all pieced together in my mind, how I'm going to do it and all that. And that's really about it, other than doing some more ammo tests for um, the M1A, and I'm probably going to do it for the 243 too now. 308 M1A, that was just kind of a starter, but now that I've kind of got it, how I do the ammo tests, different ammo tests for it figured out, I'm going to start doing it for the bolt action 243 and my H&R. So, uh, videos will be up as they're made, and as stuff comes up firearm wise on how to uh, on different stuff I'm, I'll just upload it as it goes but right now what I told you is all we've got going uh, might go up over the summer to uh, there's some place up in up north that my friend change he goes to college up there but he said he met some cool guys up there and they're wanting to go shoot guns and they got AR-15s and stuff, so that might be a video, too. I don't know. Depends. So, that's just what's on the calendar right now. Other than that, I ain't really got a whole lot going on. <laughs> well, anyway, this has been Pliskin. I'll see you all in the next video, whenever that'll be.